race of the hot horse is Space Walk, who's now best back with us. Three ninety into three dollars and twenty cents. Where did you your top selection? Uh, yeah, the graphic was. Uh, my, maybe I put the wrong number in, but it was the Rastro who was my top selection. I maybe made. Just want to go with fifteen rounds. Yeah. But if, you know what happens now? I have something on fifteen rounds. Hundred percent. Or have the Quinella because that's um, how it always works out. The racing gods know how to give you an uppercut when they want to, and uh, I've obviously put in the wrong six and eight. You know. My, probably my handwriting. But anyway, I think Zarastro will be hard to beat in this race. I do think Space Walk the class in the field, um, as the market would suggest. Uh, Natuno is, might be back on track, but and the only other horse that I thought ran really, really well last time, I actually mentioned and referenced with F Troop, who was flying home late. Uh, he's got enough ability to be winning this race, but it's the golden ticket. Can I throw in one at big, big odds Why not? to fill some minor money? He's at the bottom of the page there in Master Jamie. Now, I know you're going to think I'm absolutely mad. He loves racing at Eagle Farm. He loves the six furlongs. And he races really well first up. He has only missed the minor money once out of seven starts. First up from the spell. I'm told. Just, just something to keep note of. Obviously, this is a big jump up in class. But, <laughs> you know, just go to the line with it and go to line. I'm just looking at the stats and going, maybe, you know, maybe to fill your first fours if you're into... Uh, playing exotics like that. So there is F Troop uh, with Damien Thornton in the saddle, who was yeah really, really nice to the line in the bribey last start. And, uh, yeah, you like his last start. I thought his last start performance was great. If he's able to win this, he ticks over the million-dollar mark, which is uh, pretty good going. And you see a lot of these horses, the Astro, he's completely changed his form since he's been trained by Tony Gollan and just been probably changed his training as well a little bit and changed his environment and they're just getting the absolute very best out of him and a horse like Spacewalk, well he's been excellent in a number of runs this campaign and his previous preparation so hopefully we can see a good performance from one of these horses to get that golden ticket into the snippets which is a lucrative ticket this time around uh, plenty of prize money on offer for Magic Millions Day well we're going to be seeing uh, that soon, only in three weeks' time. Can't wait to get up there. Can't wait. Well, really? you're going to have no kiss. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> you read my mind. Here's David Fowler. Magic Millions fell the long listed level. Light flashing. We're set. Racing. They came out at sixes and sevens there. One of the first to go was Rich on, tackled by Zarastro. Rubiquitous didn't begin well today, and he has to chase out. A Master Jamie is chasing as well, but Zarastro gets to the front first from Master Jamie, who's peppering the leader. Rubiquitous drops to third, fourth Rich on, and there's Spacewalk. Two lengths away in fifth in a great position mid-race. A length behind him, Natuno. Then F Troop inside of Deep Hoare. Two to League of Esprit on the inside of Ralphie. And Alpine Edge in 15 rounds, second last and last. No peace for Zarastro at the halfway mark. Master Jamie annoys him on the outside. Spacewalk all of a sudden goes to third now. Under a good grip from Shin coming to the turn. Then Rubiquitous, Natuno off the track. Then Rich on League of Esprit. F Troop, Deep Hoare, Ralphie, 15 rounds at Alpine Edge. In the straight, Zarastro is the leader. Space will give it four more by Shin on the outside. Coming after Zarastro. But Zarastro's got a kick. A real good kick. Zarastro in front. Space will try to give it so hard. Can't make any impression. Short of 100 to go. Zarastro further, further ahead. And Zarastro wins the Valvalon from the 2 no League of Esprit and Space Walk gave up late. Then Rich on, followed by, at the head of the others, Rubiquitous, Alpine Edge, Ralphie, Master Jamie. 15 rounds F Troop and Deep Ball last over the line as Zarastro wins again. Yep, he does win again, David Fowler, and that is his fifth win for the preparation. He has now won seven of his 16 starts. Tony Gollan has found the key to this guy. He's gelding by I'm Invincible out of a drift, so really well bred. Then they had to geld him, and uh, he's gone up north, and he just really loves Queensland, it appears, Lizzie. He does. He loves Anne Jones as well. That's uh, He's up to, I think, $600,000 in prize money, and he's up for the riches now at Magic Millions. He looks super well-suited as well. He's a horse that puts himself up on speed, which I think is really very much beneficial for racing up in Queensland. Natuno was a good run because he was disappointing first up, then he was able to run really well second up and he's backed it up with another good run so you'd expect he's well on track uh, for his campaign legalist free returned in good order and a spacewalk I just find is better early on in a campaign I'm talking first ever run it needs to be fresh
Yes, we crashed. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. All right, final divvies there. Six, four, ten, and one. Let's go down to the valley. Race 10, final event on the program. Before we get into the yard, let's take a look at the leading riders of the day in Melbourne. Uh, and there's been a couple of jocks who have had really good goes of it today with some, um, some good success. There's Tony Collin. He'd be very happy wearing his Magic Millions uh, cap. And we're still taking in some replays of the last race at Eagle Farm. So let's refresh, take a breather. We're going to go to the mountain yard at Moon Valley, actually. Uh, race 10 on the card, benchmark 70 over the 1,200 metres. And uh, yeah, a few nice horses here. One of the most open events on yeah, the day, I think, at uh, Mooney Valley. You've got a number of horses who have got good chances in this field. And we, as you mentioned, we've seen some jockeys who have been able to ride a few winners on the day. Um, as we have a look.